Luke here from LT Gaming, and I'm back with another episode of Star Trek Bridge Commander Remastered. The clip that you just saw, which inspired this video, was from TNG Season 4 Episode 12, The Wounded. And I have decided to make the battle today between the Galaxy Class ship and the Cardassian Galore. Also was a little bit inspired by the first pilot episode of DS9, where the three Galore ships turn up at Deep Space Nine and they call back the Galaxy class. I would like to see what would have happened in that situation. Now of course you have to throw in Deep Space Nine as a factor in that battle, but who knows, it would have been an entertaining one if John Luke Picard had come back to deal with the Cardassians. Right, so the Galaxy class ship, as we all know, is a heavy capital ship first introduced in the mid 2030-60s. It's one of the largest and most powerful Federation ships of its time, and we saw it repeatedly in TNG, DS9, and many of the movies as well. It's well known for being, you know, a very powerful ship with good shields and also the ability to separate its saucer in case of an emergency. It's obviously one of my favourite ships, it's iconic and always fun to play as the Galaxy class. Let's take a look at the enemy today, the Cardassian Galore. It's basically a cruiser slash destroyer, which was designed to hunt in packs. Um, and it was the primary class used by the Cardassians in the late 24th century. There are differing accounts of the weapons online of these ships, but I'm going to go by what is in the mod. So if we look at the Galaxy class ship, it has 11 Type 12 phaser arrays and 8 Type 6 photon torpedo tubes. Online, I have found that as only two tubes, but uh, we'll take what is actually in the game. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the tactics that you are supposed to employ with the Galaxy class. You should take advantage of the wide phaser coverage and disable enemy impulse drive to maximize torpedo impacts. When the enemy is attacking the Galaxy class, it's best to disable its shield generator as a priority and then continue to take out its sensor array. Something to bear in mind if you are on the defensive as well. Now let's take a look at the ship that we're going up against, the Cardassian Galore. It has six Type 6 compressor beams and three Type 4 photon torpedo tubes. So it's quite a bit smaller. I mean, the Galaxy class comes in around 650, I think. Let's take a look. 643, close enough. And the Galore comes in at 481. But you can imagine the Cardassian government would have employed these in groups and battle packs. They would have been cheaper to make and they could have been... Um, more efficient in that sense. But let's take a look. Okay, tactics. Certainly not the most powerful ship. It should be used in packs of two or th even three. That backs up my point. To ensure maximum efficiency in battles. When engaging the ship, target its primary subsystems as its shields go down quickly and so do the underlying subsystems. That's something for us to bear in mind anyway as we take it on in this battle. Now, I have some orders coming through from Starfleet Command. They are requesting that you like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Very important to make sure that, as part of the Federation, that we obey those orders. But we appreciate all of the interaction, and we would love for you to catch up with us on more Star Trek content. Now that is out of the way, let's get into the battle and see what the Galaxy-class ship can do against the Cardassian Galore. Engage! Right, here we go. Straight to red alert. Shields up. Let's target the Galore, we'll go for the Warp Core, and destroy. To destroy Captain. So I'm going to give the crew the initial control of the ship, but I may take over as the battle progresses. Now we've dropped their front shield pretty drastically in that first engagement. Okay, I'm going to take direct control here because I want to circle around and fire off my rear photon torpedoes. Here we go. A fairly devastating barrage there. Let's get back around again. Impulse is set to nine. Perfect. Let's get around for this phaser fire. And photon torpedoes away. Oh, that was good. That did a lot of damage. Okay, our shields are at 70. But hang on, I forgot to pump up the weapons and the shield generator. Let's do that quickly. We can afford to make a mistake, I think, in the galaxy class, right? Here we go. Photon torpedoes. It's absolutely devastating what the 
what the Galaxy class can put down against the Galore. I mean, their warp core is in a bad situation here. Our shields have dropped to 69%, and it's not even really a challenge. This, this pass. Oh, we took the warp core out. Simulated enemy ship has been destroyed. It certainly has. We got him. We got him. That was absolutely perfect. I mean, wow. Okay, the Galore really did take an absolute battering there. I think we're going to do two Galores, right? I think we need to do it. That was far too easy. Let's set up another quick battle. And let's fire in a second Galore. Perfect. Let's start that. Okay, here we go. Shields up, red alert. Red alert shields up. This could be a tougher task for us this time. Let's go for the warp core again. That worked well. Impulse level 9. Now, I think we're going to target just the one here. Try and bring this one down. Circle back around and line up those rear photon torpedoes. Now, we may have got kind of lucky with the last one because we hit the warp core. But I also think we're bringing this one down fairly quickly. Our shields are holding, but we're taking more of a battering for sure. Let's circle back around and get this photon torpedo strike ready. I mean, you just have to love the galaxy class. It's just an iconic ship in culture, in Star Trek. Oh, they're going to bounce off our shields here. Oh, I think we avoided that just about... Okay, we're doing quite well here. Our shields are holding out well. No hull damage yet for us. Taking a good few shots, though. Definitely a lot more firepower on us this time. We circle around. Photon torpedoes away. First Galore is in a lot of trouble here. I think one more sweep from our rear photon torpedoes and... That will be the end of that. Okay, we got them. Let's go. Straight over to the warp core. Simulated enemy ship has been destroyed. It has, but we still got one left. Let's not get too excited. We've taken a little bit of damage here. He's staying close to us, so I want to try and get the photon torpedoes in. Oh, that's bad for us. Whoa, we bounced off him there. The forward shield is draining. Okay, they have a good pilot because he's staying close to us. I'm going to fly straight away from him here to get some distance. Their bottom shield is draining, sir. Okay, we'll stay, get a little bit of distance. We're about 22 kilometers out. We'll circle back around. We have taken a little bit of damage here. Very minimal, and our shields are still holding. Okay, let's do this. Photon torpedo now. Their shields are suffering quite badly. Beautiful. Okay, let's go over the top of him. Whoa, press the wrong button there. I forget that my flight controls are not inverted. Awesome. Okay, looks like more of the same. We're taking a little bit of hull damage here. I don't think I've actually thought this brilliantly, but... Let's get round to the saucer. Let's get this... Final barrage away. I think this could be devastating. Warp core is gone. Simulated enemy ship has been destroyed. It certainly has. We got him. So two galores is not really a, much of a problem. I want to do three, but I might save it for another video because I would like that to be potentially the situation from the pilot of DS9, pretending that Picard showed up and has to fight the three galore ships. I will give that one a go. But I really enjoyed getting the Galaxy class out today and having a go with it. I mean, the bridge is uh, is absolutely awesome. If you play Bridge Commander Remastered the campaign, you can sit next to Picard and he'll take you through the first mission. But overall, as you can see, we really do see the difference between a heavy capital ship and what is essentially a cruiser or a destroyer in the Star Trek world. I think this might be slightly differently modeled in Kobayashi Maru mod, which I would also like to do as I've had a lot of fun with it. And as always, like and subscribe, because if you don't, I will show you a clip of Keiko and O'Brien flirting. It's fairly painful, and look, I might throw it in here anyway, so take a look. If you can make it through that, thank you so much for being here, and as always, I will see you on the next one.